Hello everybody and what is going on? So today I'm joined by Joe from Chop Suey. Hello. And I thought it would be a good idea to do a Sick Fits video. So for those of you who don't know what Sick Fits is, it's basically me raising subscribers fits. Now if you think that that's a good idea and that's something that you want to participate in, then you can by sending in your fit to sickfits at outlook.com. In the title of the email, just put in your Instagram name and Sick Fits. In the body of the email, attach a picture of your fit, add some details of your fit, what t-shirt are you wearing, what trousers are you wearing, what shoes are you wearing, etc, etc. That's pretty much it. Click that send button and you will be featured in the next Sick Fits episode. So for this episode we have the top five, they're not ranked in any particular order. I chose three and Joe chose two. So without further ado, let's jump straight into the first outfit that I chose. So the first fit of the day is brought to us by Pedro Alacron. Alacron. That's Alacron. 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 Pedro Alacron. Instagram name Pedro1996 underscore standard. So in this fit, Pedro is wearing a vintage black champion sweatshirt. He's paired this with a pair of vintage Nautica thrifted trousers. And of course, you can never go wrong with a pair of old school vans. So the one thing that I really like about this outfit is just that it's an all black outfit and you can never go wrong with an all black outfit. I like the oversized fit of the champion jumper. As you all know, I'm very much into my oversized clothing. I'm very much into my vintage clothing and I'm even more interested into my champion clothing. So you've ticked all of the boxes here for me. Very well done there. Now, what really got me interested are the Nautica trousers. So these vintage Nautica trousers are a straight cut. I believe that they're shell suit bottoms or track suit bottoms. And the one defining detail that I really like about these trousers is the red stripe with the Nautica branding on it. Very, very nice touch for an all black outfit to add a little splash of color. Red was the perfect choice there. And of course, you can never go wrong with a pair of Vans. And the old school Vans is a pair of shoes that look great when they're brand new, like just fresh out the box. And they also look good when they're absolutely wrecked. So Joe, what do you think of this outfit? Well, I like the all black. That works really well. Obviously, like it's pretty difficult to go wrong with all black. And then that red stripe just breaks up the all black. The red stripe actually like breaks up and makes it look like a proper outfit. So to speak. Just the trousers in general are like the, the centerpiece to me. Like I find them so nice. So congrats on finding them. They are like really nice. Obviously the old school vans, you've got like the hints of white, which goes with the white on the crew neck jumper and the white on the trousers. So yeah, all the colors work. They've kept it to three colors, black, white, and red. And yeah, it all works really well. So really nice fit. Thank you, Pedro, for your outfit. Moving on to the next outfit. Yeah, sick man things. I, I really like this outfit. It just screams white man can't jump. Have you seen that film yet? <laughs> no. It's a good film, I need to watch it. So the next fit of the day is brought to us by Brian Jose. No, it's a Jose, Jose. I'm, I'm saying Jose. Jose. Instagram name B-I-H-R-Y-A-N. Had to spell it out because we don't know how to pronounce this. We think it's Brian or Byron. Anyway, let's just move on to the outfit. So Brian's outfit contains an oversized hard rock calf t-shirt, a Matix jersey, green Nike track pants, and, and checkered slip-on vans. So moving on to the actual outfit itself, I'm really liking the theme of this outfit. It just screams white men can't jump. If you've ever seen that film, you know exactly what I'm talking about. It's got a very vintage feel to it, a very 90s feel to it. I'm liking the details with the sunglasses and the watch, very, very nice. The actual outfit itself intrigues me. I'm liking the t-shirt under the jersey. I haven't seen this look in a very long time, but I think my man Brian here does it really, really well. I also think that the green tracksuit bottoms are a really, really nice touch. I haven't seen a lot of colored trousers in outfits recently, so this is just a breath of fresh air for me. It's a very nice shade of green and they look quite baggy as well and you know I'm all about that baggy life. And to finish it all off we have a pair of slip-on vans with a checkered pattern. So all in all I think all of these pieces complement each other really well. Again I like the theme of the outfit. I like the whole vintage feel. It looks very 90s and you know I like my 90s. A solid vintage outfit. So Joe what are your thoughts on this particular outfit? Yeah I, I feel the same way like the main thing for me is that it's it's different like he's used his own head I guess to come up with a fit like he's thinking outside the box like as you said the basketball shirt on top of a t-shirt is I haven't seen that in ages I don't think I've seen that ever in my lifetime that's like new to me which I quite like it I don't know I think he's like indirectly started a trend now yeah he, he has yeah. you'll see this I think it suits him like the green trousers work really well as well I don't know why but they just seem to um, and again he's just 
similar with that last fit he's gone for the black and the white and then just a hint of color which is the green from the trousers which works really well and if you're sticking to three colors and two of them being black and white you can't really go wrong and i think this fit proves it especially since he's wearing such out there pieces such as the basketball thing so yeah works really well thank you brian for sending in your fits now the next outfit is something that joe picked so i'm gonna let him take it away Okay, so this fit I picked out is from a guy called Jay Soul, and his Instagram username is Too Broke for a Bogo. Basically, he's wearing a Supreme parody T-shirt, uh, some unique clo jeans, um, some Vans old schools, and a gold Casio watch. Basically, this fit works so well. The color coordination is just on point with this one. The blue is quite. It kind of pops. I don't know how you describe it. It's not neon, but it, how would you even describe that color? It like really stands out, uh, especially on the white and the black. Yeah. And um, the colors are what sells this fit to me. Like I really like it. And then also the watch, like I was kind of skeptical when I first saw it. I thought, would this be better without the watch? But then the more I look at it, for some reason, the gold watch seems to work as well alongside the glasses. And yeah, the whole fit for me looks really, really good. It's mainly that blue thing. Like that just works so well for me. It is a very clean outfit. I do like it a lot. Yeah, it's just a solid clean fit. So thank you, Jay, for sending in your outfit. Moving on to the next outfit. So the next fit of the day is brought to us by Dominique Della Rosaro, a sick fits veteran. Instagram tag dom.del.ro. And let's just jump straight into his outfit. So Dom is wearing a pair of Boon look shades, a vintage button up, vintage Ralph Lauren shorts, and a pair of Adidas superstars. And he's also mentioned that the fit is 100% thrifted. So bonus points on that front. So let's talk about the actual outfit itself. The shirt I really like. I do like the patterns on it. I like how crazy all the colors are. You've got your reds, you've got your browns, you've got your beiges, you've got a lot of colors on the color spectrum, basically. Sort of like a Picasso looking t-shirt, if you know what I mean. Like you sort mm, of like yeah, yeah, definitely. see it's there, yeah. So this button up shirt is definitely the main piece of this outfit as everything else looks a little bit toned down for example the vintage ralph lauren shorts look like a dark blue or a navy very low key and of course the adidas superstars are all white this outfit contains some very nice details such as the watch and the glasses just giving it a nice eccentric touch to be perfectly honest with you i am a fan of the superstars i know there's a little bit of controversy around them these days because people are like oh no the adidas superstars are a dead shoe but to me they're an iconic shoe they definitely fit in theme with the whole vintage aesthetics, so to speak. And I think they go well with this outfit. But don't take my word for it. Let's hear what Joe has to say about this particular outfit. Yeah, I really like it. He's gone all out with the uh, shirt, which I really like. He's had like this centerpiece, which is the shirt. And then he's kind of toned down the rest of it. So he's just got the plain shoes, the fairly plain shorts and the glasses. And yeah, he's kept it simple apart from the centerpiece, which is the shirt, which works really well. That shirt is definitely very out there. Definitely stands out. Yeah, I really like the fit in general yeah the fit itself seems to like suit the guys so yeah it works pretty well you can't really go wrong with a fit like that definitely good for the summer as well so thank you dom for sending in your outfit so before we get into the final fit of the day i just want to throw in some honorable mentions And I'd just like to thank every single person who sent in a submission for Sick Fits. Moving on to the last outfit. So the last outfit of the day was actually picked by Joe. So I am going to let him just take over and talk about this outfit. So take it away, Joe. Okay, so here we've got Ken Nickadu. Nickadu. Nick Nickadu. I think Nick yeah, that sounds, sounds right. That sounds right. Yeah. Right, sounds let's go natural. with that. Yeah. So we got Ken here. Uh, his Instagram is... Where, where is his Instagram? I don't know. Unknown. We, we don't know what Ken's Instagram is, 
but he's wearing the thrifted Fila sweater. He's got the Levi 511s, the Ralph Lauren socks, and the Vans old school. Yeah, this kind of fit is really good. Like, it just reminds me of like a cozy fit that you want to wear like on a day when you're not really doing much. Uh, something you just want to wear around the town. Uh, the oversized sweatshirt is a good oversized. Like, it's not too oversized. The trousers work. The shoes work. A very, very versatile shoe. Yeah, the white socks can sometimes be a bit controversial. Some people seem to think that, you know, it's a bad thing. But I think in this fit, like, it definitely works. So they've got this white detailing around the collar, which obviously goes well with the socks, uh, the white detailing on the actual uh, graphic itself. Very good casual fit. I think personally, this is one of those fits that I would probably wear because I really do like this feeler sweatshirt. What trousers are they actually? 5'11s, I might get some very loud 5'11s. I like the way the 5'11s fit on this outfit and you just might have sold me into buying a pair. Of course, again, you can never go wrong with a pair of Vans. I'm starting to think that the majority of these fits are all Vans old school. I would double check that afterwards. But it just goes to show that the Vans old school is a timeless classic and they can fit a number of styles. So thank you, Ken, for sending in your fit. And that is where we're going to end today's video. So I'd just like to give a big massive shout out to everyone who's sent in their fits for sick fits and I'd like to give a big massive shout out to Joe from Chop Suey for joining me today. We've also done a video on his channel so if you want to check that out I'll leave a card like over here or over there I'm not entirely sure. It's in one of these corners. Also subscribe to Joe's channel he does a lot of good content on there. Do you need to remind him about the uh, one uh, I do, I do, I do. And if you want to be featured in the next Sick Fits video then all you have to do is send an email to sickfits at outlook.com. In the title of the email put in your Instagram username slash sick fits in the body of the email attach all the details of your fit what t-shirt are you wearing what trousers are you wearing what shoes are you wearing and of course attach a picture of your fit and that is where i'm going to end the video today so if you like this video then you can give it a nice little like if you want to subscribe and see more of what i do because i do a lot of fashion based stuff lifestyle based stuff and style based stuff then you can by using a subscribe button that can be located anywhere on this web page here check out joe's channel chop suey you're done though and now that is everything. Bye. Thanks guys.